Apple Store and write down work iz click on the first one this is the application that you're supposed to download as you can see i have already downloaded the application you click open to sign into the application uh, you can simply just click log in you should use uh, your uh, preferred email that has been set up uh, to your account and then you insert your password and then you're done. So whenever you log in to the application, you can see uh, this tree line, which is the menu of the application. You can see jobs, setting, get help and log out. So if you wanna log out, you can simply click on here. For see what type of jobs you may have, you click on jobs. As you can see, this is the section that you can use search to find out your customer name and anything regarding. Uh, you can simply just insert and you can find a job related to that account. Back to the main menu, you can see that you have a job for today. This is just a test. Today is Monday 22nd June. So I have a job at 2.15 p.m. with uh, the customer name is Majid Khodami. When you click on it, you can see there's many options over here. We, we start from the beginning. As you can see, this is the map of the job. This is where you should be supposed to go. You can zoom in and zoom out to see that what exactly it, it will be. Then you can uh, press start, as you can see here. Whenever you got to the customer's location and you would like to start the job, you will press start. Do not start before getting there. Next is that you can tell your customer that you are in your way. So you can simply click here. There's a text already prepared for you. Hi, this is the technician. Just letting you know that I'm in my way and you can simply send it to Majid. The other one is payment. I'm going to explain that later. So your job status is the way that you basically will let us know which is your job progress. As you can see, you have submit and this job is submitted to you. Whenever you re uh, like uh, receive your job and you are in the customer's location, you can click in progress and change that to in progress. And whenever you're done and uh, you should first of all do the finance section before uh, pressing done. So you need to be done with your job financially and the customer should pay. Then you change the status to done. So back to the submit. Here's the client name, Majid Khodami. This is the location of the client. And here is the phone number. So you can simply click on it and call him. Uh, you can call use use the WorkEase application or use your phone. It's better to always use the WorkEase application phone number. The schedule time, uh, you can see it over here. Uh, and uh, there's also starting and ending of your job. Uh, the type of job or job detail, as you can see, is a wall hanging. When I go here, I can see that the job type is wall hanging and the source is thumbtack, the metro area is Dallas. The job note is really important. Most of the time, there will be some description over here regarding your job, like if there, there will be any material needed, any extra. So this section is one of the most important section. I'm gonna go back and show you how you get here. Again, when you are in the first page, you can go down always check your job detail and go to the notes section this is where the dispatcher which here is mo will leave you some information if you need any extra information before going to your job you should check this section uh, after that we go back to the main menu again one of the main thing and uh, important thing that you need to know is the attachment whenever you're done with your job you need to have some attachment and you should take a picture so when you click on the attachment and then click on the plus sign, you can take a photo of the product that you may have. You can simply take a photo and then put it uh, here as a proof of your job has been done. So once again, this is the main menu. If you wanna add some notes, you can simply add note here and do and save it for your need. Like if you wanna put any uh, test here you just like do that if you want to do attachment you can choose from your gallery or important part one of the most important part of the application is the payment section remember that customers supposed to pay the amount using the application so as you can see let's say i'm done with my job and uh, everything is done first of all i need to attach a photo from the uh, product that has been assembled or installed so you can simply come to the attach section 
either choose uh, from your uh, library if you already took the picture if not just take a picture here take your pictures and uh, add it to this section I'm gonna do this just to make sure that everybody knows what to do so use this photo so let's say the job was a laptop now you have an attachment of your job over here next you need to provide the payment section for your client you can simply um, go to this section click on credit card and you can pass this on to your client uh, probably you will have the amount already here but let's say this client is supposed to pay $180 and then you you will pass this on to your client they will insert their credit information and everything will be done if not you need to ask them for pay cash if they pay cash you just insert the amount here save it uh, the same thing for the check you just write down the check number and you will save the payment um, that's all for the payment uh, the other important thing is the finance section so if you click on finance you can see that there is a job item here um, so it was a wall hanging project the price was five dollar and the subtotal is also five dollar and whenever you do this you can simply send the invoice to your client so they can pay you so there's two ways back to the section of payment if you uh, go back to the payment section here and you can either use the credit card information by the client or you want to send them an invoice so they can pay over there so you can check the job items over here you can add job item if you want the payment method has been decided estimate is decided and then whenever you're ready you check all of this section and you then use generate so whenever you do this you click on this three dot on the right top and send the invoice there's two way using email or the ESMS most likely SMS is much better as soon as you choose SMS the phone number of the client will be here and then you will send you will click on send button to send the invoice to the client and everything is done after that you also need to see that if you do have any proof of attachment signature is optional you can ask the, the client to give you a signature there's, these are always need to be checked so you see there is an item while hanging the payment method uh, it has supposed to be chosen here back into the job section and that's all so for sending an invoice once again the finance click here and then after checking all of these items if you see that all of them has been filled out and you have everything here you just go view and click on this three dot on the top right you send an invoice to your client you choose sms and then send